So I wanted to record myself doing my makeup, but I forgot. So here's the finished look. You can see me put on my highlight. So I'm getting ready to go to the doctor's office. This will be my first doctor's appointment in LA. I need to, you know, get an annual checkup, you know, go into the lady doctor. I also, you know, it's good to get tested every so often. I recommend every three months. So I'll be doing that, taking care of some business. After that, I wanna do shopping. I really wanna have like a, a self-care date day like with myself just because you know I love me so I want to take myself out to a nice lunch I really want a good salmon Caesar salad and I want a nice cocktail and I also want to go shopping I want to buy some Air Force Ones and I want to get some perfume and just kind of browse and see what's out there you know and you all can see the reveal of my lace if it's laid or not oh this looks crazy but i'm gonna get it together just watch This is the finished hair look. Um, I need to head out soon. I need to get going. Okay, I'm definitely about to be late to the doctor's office, but had to show y'all my fit. It's just something slight, you know, just a little bodysuit from Zara. If you've seen my Zara haul, you would have seen this. And then I have these Fashion Nova jeans that make my ass look fantastic. <laughs> and these shoes I stole from my mom that I low-key wear every day because I feel like they're the cutest pair of shoes that I own, which brings me to, I need to go shopping today for shoes. So let's go off to the doctors. Yay, getting tested, go get tested. If you're watching this, this is your sign. Go get tested in the stigma, woo, peace out, bye. Okay, so I am done with the doctor's office. I went and got, you know, everything checked out. But I'm hungry and I got my blood drawn, so I'm ready to eat something, but I wanna go to Melrose, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Melrose and then try to find something in that area. Oh, but I got my blood drawn and I'm already hungry and I'm afraid that I'm gonna get lightheaded. Why am I talking so fast? I don't know but i need to get going but i wanted to check in with y'all and say that i'm heading to a lunch date with myself my favorite person Mwah. so i'm looking for a place to eat i probably should have researched this beforehand but i was trying to be spontaneous let me see i was trying to be spontaneous and just like find somewhere while i was down here but the place i just went to their menu was super limited and i'm like i don't want to eat here so i'm gonna try this place called zinc wish me luck okay 
Okay, so I made it to Melrose. I'm on Melrose. Um, I'm gonna try to get some good B-roll for y'all. Um, I really wanna go to Foot Locker and then I wanna browse because they have a lot of cool boutiques. And you know, I'm trying to spend some money. I got my stimulus, I'm stimulated. I'm trying to spend some money. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Foot Locker. I wanna get some new kicks. I'm trying to be cool. I'm trying to be fly. I'm a little hype beast. I don't know, no. I just want some Air Force Ones. That's really all I want. But yeah, so I'm about to go to Foot Locker for that. I know I want to go to the Grove later because I want to go to Sephora and I like the Sephora at the Grove. That's my favorite one. But yeah. picked up some weed i went to this place called cookies i normally go to this place called stizzy this place it was black as hell it was a dope vibe like seeing all the black people um it just seems very like cool and trendy i don't know i feel like in la it's easy to feel like out of place sometimes because like i don't know everyone has clout and like a bajillion followers and like a bajillion dollars and all this shit but one thing I have to remind myself is that none of that fucking matters. We're all breathing the same air. We're all here doing the same shit. Um, and then I go about my business. But yeah, um, just thought I'd keep it real with you because I was like, oh my God, are these rappers in here? Like, oh my God, it's too much. This is too much. Everyone looks like cool and swaggy. Like, look at that guy like fucking Uzi Bird. It looks swaggy. I don't know. I, it's just too much for me. But um, I'm about to go to Sephora because I really, really want this Dior, Miss Dior perfume because I want to smell rich. Even if I'm not rich, I want to smell rich. I'm ready to smoke. Like, I'm getting anxious. I don't know. Coming here just made me anxious. Like, I don't know. Something about the vibes here. Also, like, I don't know. There were a lot of couples in there. And I will never be a person that hates love. I feel like some bitches and niggas, they get out of relationships and they're like all anti-love. Like, like, oh, I hate like relationships. Fuck love. Da, 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 da. I'm not that type of person. I still love love. I still think love is beautiful. I still want love for myself. So seeing all those couples in there just really like triggered me and it made me think of like nigga. Nah, but fuck him. I'm okay. Let's go. Let's go. We're go off to the Grove. Off to the Grove. is my favorite mall in LA and I'm gonna show you all. Just went to Sephora and spent more money than I had hoped to spend, but what, what else is new? Um, I'm so ready to go home. My shoes are starting to hurt my feet. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm ready to go home and relax. Someone invited me to like a little birthday thing they're having tonight. And I'm kind of thinking about going just because, I mean, I told y'all I was feeling sad about my ex and shit. So I'm thinking I just want to get out and like 
do something but then again my feet hurt and yeah i don't know we'll see but what i want to do i want to have like a little session show y'all what i got from the weed store and show y'all what i got from sephora so i think i'll do that when i get home and then just kind of play it by ear but yeah oh my god my perfume smells so good oh oh my god i'm like obsessed All right, so y'all came with me on my little self-care shopping day. Now I wanna show y'all what I got. I didn't get that much stuff, but I got a few things. So I went to Urban and I got this hat. I think this hat is like the coolest thing and I just got these like denim shoes that I've been looking to pair stuff with. I'm trying to get better at putting together like really cool outfits instead of just getting like cool pieces that I like, so. Yeah, this hat was definitely that. And then I also got this cute little purse. I feel like I am enslaved to the color light blue now after going to Carolina. So yeah, I just could not not get this purse. Like look how cute it is. But I'm trying to get like a better collection of purses. And then I have this like light blue outfit from Fashion Nova coming. And I'm gonna pair it with that and I'm so excited. So I'm trying to accessorize more and accessorize better. Yeah, and that's all I got from there. I really went in at Sephora. So I got some Total Cleanser from Fenty Skin. At first I got the travel size one and I'm running out, but I really like this cleanser. The cleanser's my favorite thing that I got from them. Cause I feel like it really gets it clean and it takes the makeup off too. Like, because even when you take your makeup off the first go round, there's still some makeup. I feel like this gets off that residual makeup. So I like it and it's foaming and it's not too harsh. So I like it. And then I also got the sunscreen moisturizer. This is another thing I really like because it comes with SPF. And this has SPF 30, but the one that I was using before only had SPF 15, which I don't think is like enough to do anything. But yeah, I like it and it doesn't leave a white cast and it has SPF, so I like it. I also got some Misty Ore. Oh my God, I got this sample of this like months ago and I fell in love. So I knew once I got some money, I was gonna get the full thing. Oh my God, I love it so much. It's already on this hand but I'm gonna put it on this hand too, or wrist, I guess. Oh my God. Now I used to wear Tees, which was uh, like Victoria's Secrets fragrance. I feel like I just leveled up with this. It's so small, but like, I'm gonna make this shit last. You feel me? How do I take this off? Do I just... Let me just do one spray. And I need to write, like do a survey because the person who helped me was so helpful and so sweet and so nice. Shout out to you, Bridget, if you're watching this, I don't know. Then I got this like body scrub just cause like, I don't know. I was looking to spend money and I wanted to try something new. So I want to use it on my arms and I already use an exfoliator, but this one has like AH. A H A, which is supposed to do a little more, I guess. And then I also got some Becca setting powder. I also got this eyeliner that acts as lash glue as well. I don't know how I'm gonna like it, but Sephora is really cool with returns. So if I don't like it, I'm gonna just bring it back. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get some lashes, but they didn't have the kind of lashes I would want it. I only like, well, it's not that I only like Hollywood lashes, but I think Hollywood is the best style that Lily Lashes has. This isn't Hollywood, but I still like this. This is like Mykonos, and Mykonos is okay, but like Hollywood is that bitch. And then I got a little sample of this high dose retinoid serum. I don't really know what this is for, but 
the word retinoid, retinoid makes it seem like it's pretty legit. So that's why I got it and I was like, oh. I have this blemish on my face right here. That won't go away. Normally when I get a blemish, it'll go away. I think it's because I was on my period this week and my skin is just like, doesn't like to behave when I'm on my period. So I'm hoping this week I can get rid of it. But that's all that I got from Sephora. Now, the good stuff. So I went to this new, um, well it's not new, it's new to me. <laughs> I went to this um, dispensary called Cookies. And I didn't really know what to get, but I knew I wanted to try something else. And y'all know, I like to smoke my pre-rolls cause I don't know, I'm just lazy. One, I don't like smoking tobacco papers. I don't like smoking blunts. I don't like smoking backwoods. Backwards. Everybody out here thinks backwoods are so cool and they love them. Fuck backwoods. I'm not smoking backwoods ever again. No more backwoods are coming in contact with my mouth. I mean, I'm not serious but I would really prefer not to. I prefer joints. So I got these pre-roll joints. I think I wanna smoke the cookies one tonight just cause you know, it's like signature, it's from them. Um, but I also got Blitz, Prometheus. I don't know, this packaging kind of scares me. I can tell they're like trying to put them in. I wouldn't have normally gotten this, but the lady who was helping me, I think she liked me. She convinced me to get it. And I wasn't gonna tell a cute girl no, so. And then little Nikki's. This is so little. This was like $6. I feel like it's gonna be shitty, but she was like, no, it's good. But it's little. So yeah, I didn't like commit to any packs of anything just because it was my first time going. I might get a pack of this. This is Pink Rose and apparently it's Rick Ross's brand. She was like, yeah, it helps him with creativity and stuff. Like, okay, lady. I was gonna take it just for me saying it was Rick Ross's. And he had to add in that creativity, but now you really got me. So, okay, bring me up. So here I am and I'm just gonna smoke it and I'll give you all my thoughts on it. These are all sativas, by the way, just in case any potheads are watching and they're like, what is it? So this is, let's see if I can tell you the type this is. Banjo, <laughs> this is banjo, and this is, oh my God, I really can't do this way. Oh, maybe Prometheus is the, yeah, Prometheus is the strain. Prometheus, that sounds so intense, I don't like it. This is an opening, squeeze below cap. I am squeezing, how hard do you want me to squeeze? Squeezing. I'm literally squeeze. Oh. Okay. Okay, that was a little embarrassing. So yeah, I think this is a gram. Okay, I'm about to smoke this pink rose. I'm excited. This will be my first hit of marijuana today. Here we go. It has like a very clean taste to it, which is nice. <sighs> this shit's good. I mean, I feel like I'm not getting like little stupid high, but I'm feeling like good. I'm getting COVID tested tomorrow at 10 a.m. So I got booked for a job on Tuesday. Um, and yeah, they want me to get COVID tested. That's like the protocol. Oh, I should move that light right there. That would look so much better. Maybe I should just stay in and make TikToks. This has a really good taste to it, actually. Wow. I'm like, I'm getting kind of high. <laughs> okay, this is 
fun. This is fun. Mm. Also, I'm gonna show y'all my ashtray. It's so cute. Isn't that cute? And then it has like, that's where the stuff goes. Isn't this the cutest little thing you've ever seen? You want one? The link is in the description box. I got it off of Amazon and I am now a part of the Amazon Affiliates program. And this just makes me hella happy because a couple months or maybe more like a year maybe a couple years ago i applied to be one and they said no but now they said yes Good night, I ended up staying in and I did not upload my footage. I ended up watching research, like YouTube research videos, like just for things to make your YouTube channel more aligned with the algorithm and stuff. And I ended up falling asleep doing that and I just woke up at like 11. So yeah, I'm going to bed. That was a sign that I needed to go to bed. And my friend will understand or not, and that's okay too. But I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs>